And uh, thank you for being here. My name is Gabriela Cruz or Gabby for short. I'm one of the career education counselors. And if you're watching this video, it's because you are in an articulated course at your high school. And in order for you to get college credit for that course, you do need to apply to Glendale Community College. So in this video, we're going to show you how to do that. And again, we're here to help um, the Welcome Center can also help answer any questions or if you get stuck as well as myself. So I'll pass it on to Yesenia. Hi everybody, my name is Yesenia Garcia. Uh, I work at the Welcome Center and I'm here to help you and Gabby um, get through the application. Uh, so let's get started. The first thing you want to do is you're gonna go ahead and visit glendale.edu. Um, you can just visit glendale.edu. And once you get there, you can either click on apply and click on high school students or a good shortcut would be just uh, going to glendale.edu slash high school, just like I did there. And we're going to go to the high school page. Another reason why I'm bringing you guys to this high school page is because we have a lot of resources here. So just like Gabby said, if you guys need some additional help, you have some information here about our virtual welcome center hours, the link and some high school extended high school hours as well. If you do need some support, okay? Um, but let's get started and we're gonna go ahead and click on step number one so we can uh, get started on the application. Once you click here, you're gonna go ahead and click sign in. If you have not created an account and if this is your first time applying, you're gonna go ahead and stop this video at this time and you're gonna go ahead and watch um, the uh, a video that we will also include in this um, together with this so that you can create an account. Um, that's another step in itself, which is a pretty short step, so it'll be easy. But once you're here, you're gonna go ahead and click uh, sign in. Once you sign in, you're gonna end up at this page. Um, once here, um, we're going to go ahead and click on start new application. But before you get started on your new application, go ahead and scroll down and look at your account information and make sure that your information is correct, okay? If your address has changed, go ahead and click on edit account and go ahead and update your address. Uh, once you've done that, go ahead and save it and uh, click start a new application. Um, at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and click on resume because I've already started an application, but you will be clicking start new application, okay? So the first part of the application is enrollment information. This is a really important part of your application. Um, you will be selecting winter and spring 2023. So make sure that that is the selection that you make. Next for educational goal, um, go ahead and select the best option for you. If you're not sure, um, a good default would be to select obtain an associate's degree and transfer to a four-year university or institution. Um, totally up to you. This is, again, for your articulation course. Um, so go ahead and make the selection best for you. If not, this would be a good selection. At this time, we're gonna go ahead and move on to intended major or a program of study. Um, again, select the major or an area of study that you are interested in, something that you um, like. If you're not sure, it's not a big deal. You can always change your mind. So please do not worry about that. And again, again this is just for your articulation course, okay? If at any time this video is moving a little bit too quickly, go ahead and pause it and um, finish up responding in each section, okay? Once you're done here, you can always click save just to make sure that your information is saved. And then you can move over to the next portion of the application. Here in the pro profile section, go ahead and answer the first question. Um, have you ever used, uh, do you have a previous legal name? If the answer is no, which most of you guys will probably put no because you probably have had the same name, but if the answer is yes, go ahead and select whatever's best for you. We're gonna move down over to the social security section, the social security number section. Um, if you don't know your social security number or you don't wanna put your social security number, you can go ahead and select no. Um, if you do have it, you can select yes and you can go ahead and put it in there. Go ahead and scroll further down and you will go ahead and uh, see the parent and guardian information. In this section, please answer the question to the best of your knowledge. My student does have a parent and their parent's name is John. So I went ahead 
and put John Garcia as a father, go ahead and, and put your information uh, with your parent or guardian's information there. If this does not apply to you, go ahead and answer these questions and then move on to the next section. On the bottom of this page, you'll find current um, mailing address. If your address is different than the one in your profile when you come into this account, remember when we just came in and I had our information, our name, our address. If it's different, then you can go ahead and select here and put a different address, but most likely it's going to be the same. So you'll select the first option, which is my mailing address is the same as my permanent address in my open CCC account. So we're gonna go ahead and make that selection there. All right, go ahead and click save and continue. This is the very important part. So now we're at the education section. Here, um, you will be selecting enrolling in high school or lower grade and college at the same time because you are um, in high school. So go ahead and make that selection. Once you make that selection, it's going to prompt the high school education section to be uh, to have this select option. So it'll select it for you. Uh, will be enrolled in high school at, or lower grade and college at the same time will be selected for you, okay? Next, we're gonna go to the current or most recent high school attended. You are all in high school, so you're going to go ahead and click I attended high school. In country, you're gonna put the United States of America, say California, and then on the bottom part, you're going to uh, type in your high school's name. Then it's going to, some different options will, will pop up and you will select your high school. And once you select it, you're gonna go, oh, there it goes. Once you select it, you're gonna move down to school or organization and put your high school's name as well, um, followed by the city. Again, if you need to pause at any time, go ahead and pause the video. Now we're gonna move down to the high school transcript information section. Here, you're going to answer what was the highest grade you completed. Um, so my student is in 10th grade and the highest level of high school they completed is ninth grade. So that's what they completed. So for example, if you're in 10th grade, ninth grade will be the highest level and so on. Uh, the next question is, what was your unweighed high school GPA grade point average? Um, do your best in selecting the best, putting in the best option for you. Um, if you're not sure, go ahead and take a look at your transcripts, but we encourage you to uh, put an educated guess or um, whatever is best for you. What was the highest English course you completed in high school? You may have passed or not passed the course, but you remained enrolled, enrolled until the end. So depending on what is the highest level, you would select that and then you would put the grade. My students are 10th grade, so 10th grade or lower since they only completed ninth grade and then they received a B. Next section, what was the highest math course you completed in high school? Regardless, regardless if you passed or not. So my student has completed algebra one and they received a B. Once you're done with that section, go ahead and move down to college education and select no, no degree because you are still in high school, so you do not have a degree. So here you're going to um, specify the number of colleges you have attended, including those you are currently attending. My student has never attended, um, so they're gonna put none. Uh, if you attended GCC in the past, you'd put one, and then you'd put GCC. Um, if you've taken like dual enrollment or jumpstart classes, but my student hasn't taken anything, so they're gonna go ahead and select none. Then they're gonna go ahead and click save, and we're gonna go ahead and click continue to move on to the next section. Here in the citizenship and military section, we're gonna go ahead and answer it, uh, the questions to the best of our abilities. Citizenship and uh, immigration status. My student is a US citizen, so they went ahead and uh, selected that option. And next under US military slash dependent of military. Um, if any of these apply to you, you will select them. 
Um, go ahead and take your time to read through them and ask your parents if you're not sure. But for my student, none of them apply to, to him. And so he's going to go ahead and select and apply to me. Make sure that you are taking your time and in, in, um, in responding here. If you're not sure, um, ask your parents, okay? Go ahead and click save here. And then we're going to move on and continue. Now we're in the residency section. Um, answer the questions to the best of your knowledge. If you're unsure of anything, you can always click save and come back later. Um, for my student, um, has your parent or guardian lived in California continuously since December 31st of 2020? My student was born here, so yes, and their parent hasn't gone anywhere, so they put yes. Um, out of state tax, out of state activities, as of December 31st, 2020, has your parent or guardian engaged in any of the following activities? Check each activity that applies. Um, go ahead and read each of these. If any of them apply to your parent, go ahead and select them. Um, if they've stayed in California and they've never been anywhere else, they won't select anything. Um, but make sure that you're checking in with your parents before this section is completed. My student has stayed in California, his parents have stayed in California, so we're going to go ahead and leave these blank. The next section is special residency categories, and we're just going to go ahead and have you answer these to the best of your ability. Um, once you've selected these options, you're going to go ahead and click continue. Okay, now we're in the needs and interest section. Um, the first question we have is, are you comfortable reading and writing in English? Answer this question. Um, we're gonna move over to financial assistance. Are you interested in receiving information about money or college? Are you receiving TAF slash CalWORKs, SSI or general assistance? My student put no for both. Um, my student's only taking an articula articulation course until they're not really worried about financial assistance at this point since they're not really in college yet or they're not planning on taking classes so they're just putting no. It's up to you what you wanna put um, or if you are receiving any of these things, make sure that you're talking to your parents as well. Then athletic interests, if you're interested in either of these, um, again, this is for the articulation course, so it's really up to you, but because my students want to take an articulation, they're only going to select no, they're not interested in participating in sports because they're just trying to go through this, this articulation course. <laughs> Programs and services. Um, go ahead and check anything that you're interested in receiving more information about regarding um, GCC. So uh, some of the good ones are academic and counseling advising. Um, and even if you don't pursue GCC, this is just good practice if you'd like to um, get some information or something that you're interested in. Once you've selected all the options that you're interested in, you can go ahead and click save as always. And you can go ahead and click continue. Okay. Now we're in the uh, demographic information. Um, go ahead and answer all the questions to the best of your ability. Please answer um, if you'd like. There's parts that you don't have to answer if you don't want to. And if you're unsure of a question, you can go ahead and click on it. Um, so go ahead and, and select the best option for you when it comes to gender. And then move down to parent slash guardian education levels. Um, this is just asking the education levels of your parents. So um, if you, you're not sure, talk to your parents so you can answer to the best of your ability. Um, if you know how, how much education your parents have, go ahead and answer it now. Then we're going to move down to the race and ethnicity part of the um, application. First question is, are you Hispanic or Latino? Um, and then the next one is check all. So you can check multiple. Please pick uh, the best option for you here. Um, once you've made the selections here, we're going to go ahead and click save. And we're going to go ahead and click continue. 
this is the, we're almost to the end, we're almost there. Um, if you have attended GCC in the past, please put your GCC ID number here. If you have, or you submitted an application, but you don't know what your GCC ID number is, please reach out to the Welcome Center um, and we can go ahead and help you. You can join the Virtual Welcome Center or you can reach out to the Welcome Center at Welcome Center. Oh, I can't write it there. I'll just write it up here. Welcome Center at Glendale.edu. That's going to be the Oh, sorry. Uh, I will also be sharing with your teachers all the links um, and all the information for the Welcome Center so that if you guys have any questions, um, you can always ask your teacher for all that all that info. Um, again, feel free to reach out to us if maybe you've taken an articulated course in the past and you probably have a GCC ID number. Um, so just be mindful of that. And as Yesenia was, was saying, um, if you're not sure, just pause the video and you can always resume later. Mm -hmm. Yep, thank you. So go ahead and put your ID number here if you have one. If not, you can continue. Um, residency information, when did your stay in California begin? If you were born here, you're just going to put your birthday. Um, if not, you can go ahead and chat with the parents and you can see when you uh, came to California. Next, we're going to go to additional background information. Here, um, you're going to go ahead and answer the question to the best of your ability. Bottom, you're going to go ahead and answer uh, this question, yes or no. Once you're done here, save and continue. You've completed all the application, but now you need to review your application here. So go ahead and click review application to make sure the, all the that all the information that you've selected is correct. Go ahead and browse through it, look at everything. If you need to stop and make an edit because something is uh, incorrect, go ahead and click edit and it will take you to that part of the application. Once you've taken your time to take a look at all of this and you make sure that everything's correct, go ahead and click hide my application and you're gonna go ahead and um, go through these sections. The first one is request for consent to release information. I consent, um, select that with the best option for you. Here, submit your application. Um, my student's gonna select it here to submit, click there and also click there to submit. And the final part of the application is going ahead and submitting the application here. So go ahead and submit the application here. Um, again, if you have any questions, you can email us at welcomecenter at glendale.edu. You can also always come to our website and just type in Welcome Center for more information. And you can um, find more information here about the Welcome Center, uh, our phone number, our Zoom, our email, and all, all of our hours as well. So we do have some support for you if you do get stuck. Um, that's it for me. Gabby, do you have anything else? Uh, yes, yeah, so just want to remind you all that it normally takes anywhere from like three to four hours, if not up to like two business days for you to get your uh, student ID. Obviously, it depends um, when you applied. So if you applied Monday, you might have your student ID by like Tuesday or Wednesday. Mm -hmm. If you apply on a Friday, um, you probably will get it by Monday or Tuesday. Um, so no worries. But if it's been a week or more than like three or four days, then feel free to send me an email or reach out to the Welcome Center so that we can see what's going on with your application. And again, your teacher will have all of our contact info. Um, so if you get stuck or anything, feel free to reach out to us. Yeah, perfect. All right. Well, thank you all for watching this and I'll be in touch. Thank you, guys. Bye.